Thanks for joining me again for another Author Stories podcast how-to video. This one we're going to be focusing on simplifying Microsoft Word. One of the biggest uh, arguments that I hear from people about using Microsoft Word is that it's just too cluttered. There's just too much going on on the screen and it can be distracting and uh, I, I understand that. And But I still feel that Microsoft Word is one of the most powerful tools that a writer can have in their toolbox. And I think it's important. And, you know, uh, we've talked before about that if you are a professional writer and you're working with an editor, you are going to have to get into Microsoft Word at some point for uh, to do edits and track changes. And it's, it's the industry standard. So whether you choose to use Microsoft Word or not as your daily writer, I think it's important to understand how powerful it can be and to also not get lost in all of the stuff that Microsoft Word can do. So uh, to begin with here, I have uh, Microsoft Word open. It's uh, The version I'm using is in uh, Office 365. It should look pretty similar across uh, the modern versions. Office 365, uh, Office 2016, or Word 2016, uh, Word 2013. I know I, I've gone through uh, all of these versions here that I also have installed on my computer lately, and, and everything works pretty much the same. Office 365 does simplify the ribbon view, as you see here uh, at the top of the screen. It's, it's a little more condensed, uh, still a lot going on there. And, you know, once you have your initial page structure set up, you, you really don't need to visit a lot of these options anymore. And I think that's what gets people confused, uh, maybe not confused, but just kind of all the visual stuff just gets in their way and they just want to sit down and type and get words out. And so here are a few things you could do to simplify the view and actually turn Microsoft Word into a full screen minimalist writing app. So uh, the first thing I do, uh, all of this white space drives me crazy. So the first thing I do is I click on file and I come down to uh, options and I come down to uh, the general tab here which is uh, by default and I choose the office theme first and I turn that to black. Uh, office 2016 Office uh, or Word 2016 uh, is the first version, and Office 365 are the first versions to offer this black theme. Uh, Office 2013 gave you a dark gray, uh, which is nice still, but I really love the uh, the black theme. Uh, so we're going to choose that. I always turn the uh, Office background just to no background, and it just uh, turns off some of that. Uh, also under startup options, um, one thing that kind of annoys me about Word is that every time you open it you get that screen that lists all of your recent documents and or it'll uh, it'll list templates that you can choose and I never use any of those. I always just go straight into a document. So I turn off show the start screen when this application starts. Turn that off right there and then uh, go ahead and click OK. Now then, ah, that's already looking better. Now then, the ribbon really bothers uh, a lot of people, and uh, so what we want to do is we want to get rid of the ribbon, and if you just hit uh, this uh, little uh, up carrot here, collapse the ribbon, also control F1 uh, does the same thing. If you click that, the ribbon goes away, just like that. Now if you need to bring it back, just click on one of the... Uh, the tabs here and it'll open up and as you see by default now since we uh, uh, got rid of it if you click it goes back away but if you want to bring that back just pin it after you do that and then the ribbon is back the way you want it but all you have to do is just reduce that right there and you're left with this nice clean uh, little menu here where you can pin the things that uh, matter to you uh, that uh, that you might use on a on a daily basis. Like I've got save. Uh, I have Word set to auto save, of course. But you know, sometimes you just want to go up there and, and click if, if you've made. Maybe you have it set to save every five minutes. I think I have mine set to save every three minutes. Uh, but maybe you just had a stroke of brilliance. You don't want to lose it. You know, go up there and click save, and you can do that real quick. Um, and then new and you know, new document, uh, spell check, search, print, uh, you know, and you can add things to there. Um, one thing I'm going to show you here that uh, 
because some people, uh, you know, this is not enough. It's still too cluttered for them. So if you right click on there and go to customize a uh, quick access toolbar, that's what this is, the quick access toolbar. And by default, it's going to open up to popular commands. And we're going to change that to all commands. And then it's going to take just a second to load all of those commands. And just a second. And once all commands is loaded, scroll all the way down to the T's. And we're going to get down to toggle full screen view. Right here. Toggle full screen view and then click add. Uh, I already have it added here, so it's going to say that it's already on the quick access toolbar. But click in the left column, add, puts it in the right column and then OK. Uh, also, if, if there are other tools that you would like to add to the little toolbar there, uh, you know, just find them in the list here. Uh, everything that Word can do, just about, is in this command list here, and you can, um, you know, maybe hyphenation options, if that's something you're into all the time, uh, click that and add it to the list. I'm just going to remove it because it doesn't. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's all right there. Click OK, and now we have this nifty little icon right here. Well, when we click that, it sends us into full screen view with nothing but the blank page. Nothing to distract us and And there you go. And to come out of full screen mode, you just hit the escape key and so after hitting escape, you're right back to your standard Word screen. Now, you know how to turn Word into a minimalist writing app, but we could take it one step further uh, if you want to. If you click on the design tab, whoop, I have to click it for it to happen, and come over here and uh, go to page color. Well, you could, if you really want to take this uh, to you know a complete dark theme, minimalist writing app you could choose a black background uh, with white text that's uh, that's pretty nice then we could uh, whoops excuse me let me minimize that back again that looks pretty good um, I like to go for a bit of an uh, an old school feel and make my page color and I, I choose a nice uh, kind of medium dark blue uh, like that and then either use uh, white text or text that's a little bit yellow um, you can then, you know, you can play with different uh, background colors, but the, the dark blue with white text is really easy on my eyes, uh, especially if you spend as much time at the computer as I do. You can play around with background colors, though, there in that uh, design tab, and then, uh, you know, you may have to change your text color uh, when you change your background color so that you get a good contrast between the two, and you can just always go to the home tab there and play with your text colors, uh, you know, maybe uh, maybe a yellow or an orange or, you know, just depending on what uh, background colors you choose. I like the, the dark blue with this uh, a little bit lighter than white. It's a very pale gray, uh, but that looks really good to my eyes. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Be sure to check out the Author Stories podcast. Uh, there are over 500 uh, well, right at 550 uh, author interviews now with some of the best authors in the business today. Uh, right here at this YouTube channel, you can also go to hankgarner.com and subscribe to the podcast on your phone. We have multiple author interviews every week. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any hankgarner.com and also right here at this YouTube channel. Uh, if you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe and tell everyone about it. Thanks so much.